a Republican running for governor in Michigan invoked claims of widespread voter fraud in a recent campaign ad. Why is it that dead people always vote Democrat? Let's fact check that claim in this Truth Me in a Minute. Hey everyone, it's Jacob with PolitiFact. That was Kevin Rinke, a Michigan car dealer running for the Republican gubernatorial nomination. Trump supporters have often claimed voter fraud to explain how Trump lost the 2020 presidential election, but none of those claims hold water. Rinke's claim echoes a viral tweet which alleged that a Michigan county sold thousands of ballots cast by deceased voters. But the list of deceased voters was full of errors. It included people outside the country, people who hadn't even cast an absentee ballot, and at least one person who was alive. There have been ballots cast on behalf of dead people but it's a tiny number. Officials have ways to flag deceased voters, including voters who cast an absentee ballot but died before election day. For example, the study of Washington State's vote by mail program found extraordinarily low rates of potential fraud related to deceased individuals' ballots. And the Michigan Secretary of State's office said that it was not aware of a single case of a dead person voting in the state. In fact, clerks across Michigan rejected more than 3,000 absentee ballots cast by people who were alive when they returned them, but died before election day on November 3rd, 2020. A review by Michigan's Office of the Auditor General found that 98% of the votes cast by people who had died before the 2020 election passed away less than 40 days before election day. While states like Michigan often make public whether an individual has voted in a given election, they don't specify who the individual voted for. Okay. Back to the claim. Rinky said dead people only vote Democratic. But when PolitiFact searched through news reports of people voting on behalf of deceased voters in the US, we found that Republicans were more often the perpetrators. In at least six cases PolitiFact examined, the perpetrators of that type of voter fraud were Republicans. In Florida, Larry Wiggins tried to test the system by requesting a ballot for his late wife. His request was flagged and he received a criminal referral, not a ballot. Wiggins told a local news station that he supported Trump. This does not mean that only Republicans perpetrate this type of fraud. It's possible that other occurrences in favor of either party have not been detected or reported on. But even a small number of cases is enough to invalidate Rinky's sweeping statement that only Democrats do this. Time for a rating. Rinky's claim that dead people only vote Democrat is false. There is no evidence that ballots cast by dead people were uniformly in favor of Democrats. Thanks for watching. For more fact checks, go to politifact.com or subscribe.